All right. Well, we're going to get started. And the first thing I want to do is introduce you to our panel tonight. Pastor Nate and Allison, why don't you guys just share with us a little bit about your church, your family. Give us an idea of who you are. We're glad you're here. Um, Goleta's like a little bit north of Santa Barbara, so we call it the good land, um, but you've probably heard of Santa Barbara. Um, I'm Allison, and this is my husband, Nate. We've been married for 20 years. We have four kids. Um, we have Cash, who's nine. We have Bo, who's 12. Hudson's 14, and then Ava, our senior, is 17. So we have all the ranges of kids right now, from elementary school all the way up um, senior in high school. You want to share about Oh, yeah. Um, I was a pastor or am a pastor or was a pastor at Calvary Chapel Santa Barbara for about 20 years. That's where I met Neil. We were actually roommates for a little bit of a season. Uh, we lived in a, had a bunk bed together, and uh, he was on the trundle below the bunk bed anyway. So that's how we met. And, um, and then about uh, seven years ago in 2018, uh, 2017, felt the call to leave Santa Barbara, Calvary Chapel, and plant a church in Goleta. Uh, that's where UCSB is, University of California, Santa Barbara is. That's where our target is. So uh, anyway, we decided to uh, launch and plant a church. So in 2018, in January, planted Anthem Chapel. We're at Calvary Chapel Church, but um, just kind of want to have more of a unique name. Our kind of vision is Jesus is our anthem, right? He's the song of our heart. He's who we uh, pledge allegiance to. And so it's been a great uh, privilege to be the pastor of that church plant and excited to be here this weekend for you, with you guys. All right. Good. Welcome, you guys. And Nate, you've been here at least once before, right? Yes, sir. I came and taught a couple years ago at a men's event on like a grill and chill or something like that, and then a Sunday morning as well. So okay. honored, honored to be back in the good land of Florida. We're glad to have you back. Uh, the other two panelist couples you're going to know. Uh, the first is our founding pastor, John Spencer, and his wife, Lynn. And uh, Pastor John, if you guys would share a little bit about your story. Well, um, we got married in 1977. We're old. <laughs> we have three grown children, 14 grandchildren. They all live here and are all very involved in, in ministry. Um, Lynn and I... Uh, we'll be married, what, 47 years in November, if we make it that far. <laughs> um, I grew up here. This is, this is basically my hometown. I grew up in Pensacola, Gulf Breeze. Lynn, I, when I met her, was living. Well, I'll let Lynn tell you where she's from, a little bit about her story. So I grew up here. Many of you know my story. I, I, I grew up in the surf culture. My brother's own Interlight Surf Shop and got radically saved when I was 18, Bible College Seminary, moved back here and planted a church in 1983. Let's see. Um, I was born in New York, raised in Atlanta, moved back down or back up to New York and did high school and worked with a, gave my life to the Lord at a Billy Graham crusade in Shea Stadium, New York, um, went, and then moved to Massachusetts went to high school, which is a terrible thing to do to anybody, um, <laughs> where you get mixed messages about you, who you are and what you should be doing, but the Lord rescued me, and I gave my life to the Lord. Again, mm -hmm. rededicated my life to the Lord in high school through a parachurch ministry called Young Life, and then I went to junior college in Massachusetts and then transferred out to a Bible college in Lakeland, Florida, where I was encouraged to go um, because I had worked on a missions trip in the Virgin Islands. Anyway, but I wanted to continue to um, devote my life to the Lord. I majored in missions. And at, when I went down to Southeastern, I met John. And from there, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> We've been doing ministry together for almost 47 years and have loved it. Not always been easy, but it's been a great way to do life. I didn't, I didn't hear anything about kids or grandkids. I, you know, you, you know it. We're wearing it. We have. <laughs> <laughs> John and I have made this season of our life uh, fun. We're Lolly and Pop, 
And again, as John, as John has said, we have 14 grandkids, and I'm in love with every one of them. They're 15 down to one, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a great season of life. I'm crazy about my adult kids and their spouses. I'm just, you know what, John and I are really, really blessed, and we know it. And I don't take it for granted. I, I'm crazy about my kids. I'm, I love the life that we've gotten to live, and I'm looking forward to all that the Lord has for us. Does that answer anything, Joe? That's good. Is that good? That's great. Thank I, you. I didn't I want you to miss the opportunity. This is not my natural poet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's two it. things I'd say about Pastor John. Uh, the first thing is when Anna and I first showed up here, it, it was a fairly small church. There were probably a couple of hundred people here on Sunday morning, and it was known as the Surfer's Church in this community. And Pastor John's the reason for that. The second thing I would say is, and I've, I've kind of made this a point, when anybody asks me anything about Pastor John, they, I, they always do. Anytime that I go anywhere, they say, oh, you're with John Spencer. And yeah, I am. But I always tell them, he taught me the Bible. That's what John did for me. And that's a great thing. So I'm, I'm very thankful for it. All right. And our lead pastor, Neil Spencer... Uh, who's already kind of introduced himself tonight, but Cece is with him. And uh, Neil and Cece, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Well, I've got the face for radio, as you can hear. Uh, that was a powerful microphone introduction right there. Um, yeah, I'm one of the three, obviously. And uh, born and raised here, but as you've heard, lived in um, Santa Barbara for a little while, lived in DeLand, Florida for a little while, lived in Destin, Florida for a little while. Um, and, you know, you hear from me a lot. I, as I look around the room, I know many of your names, and if not the names, I know the faces, you know, that kind of thing. And so um, I'm very thankful for the gift of family. Um, very thankful for the gift of family. It, it's a weighty blessing in the sense where um, it brings such a fantastic element of drawing me closer to Jesus every day with six kids that start with the same letter. Lily, Lucy, Layla, Liam, Leo, Laney, that kind of dynamic. It's this beautiful thing, both marriage and raising children, where you really do see so many insights into what it's like to be a child of God, what it's like to grow through seasons, and um, to just be formed and fashioned every day. So I'm excited to do this tonight, talk a little bit about family, but I was just going to let Cece share what's ever on your heart um, about who you are and how you got saved and maybe just how you got connected to this church, and then we'll get into our content. But yeah. Okay. Well, my name is Cece Spencer. Um, I also go by Cecilia. Some people know me as that. Um, but actually, this year, 20 years ago, um, in 2004, at 21, I got saved and began a relationship with the Lord, and um, by a couple, a couple um, shared the gospel with me, and that was a couple named uh, Sarah and Josh Thurber. Some of you may know who they are, but they go here, and um, they we worked together at a movie store in Navarre, and they shared the gospel with me. They were always so kind, invited me to church. I rejected the invitation many times, and then finally, I, I did, and I came, and, and um, I began to walk with the Lord, um, hearing the Bible be taught, and I stepped into um, a college and career group at the time, and um, from that, I think it was probably the following year, 2005, is that right? Um, you, you moved home. Yep, so we met in that, um, that college and career group um, called, what was it, Access at the time, yeah. And so we met in that group, and um, we started dating, and then, you know, yeah, go, go for it. Well, one thing I'll just share about our connection is um, we started dating in January of 6, but in March of 6, I moved away again. I moved to Oregon, and I moved there for a kind of a training experience, but I basically said this, I don't know if I'm coming back, but if you'd like to still date, I'm up for it, you know? And so the individual that was training me at the time did not allow us to bring any kind of devices. So really the way we got to know each other was through handwritten, handwritten letters. So just doing like snail mail, you know? And so I would write a letter and that's what I would get back. You know, like <laughs> oh, wow. snail mail, you know, it wasn't her, it was the delivery system. So I felt like that, that was such a beautiful thing because it strengthened this dynamic of relationship where it wasn't like, well, are we still together? Well, walk by faith. I think she's still there. I think she likes me. 
that was a unique thing about the early 2000s that we didn't have this kind of like connection that was, you know, comparable to everyone else's. We, we got to know each other through handwritten letters. That was a unique thing about us, but we could go on and on. But I feel so, like that's so can I just it. say one thing I did hear from that pastor? You used to sneak down to the gas station and make long distance. That is home. true. I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I think that's enough to share. Everybody has to... <laughs>